My name is Lawrence. Uh, my nickname is Larry. I prefer Larry. Um, so everybody calls me Larry. Uh, now, later in life, I have another nickname. Well, I'll start off dancing me. Uh, before I had boots, before I had an injury to my leg, I would dance and they just would call me Dancing Man. Uh, they didn't care what my name was. They just knew that uh, um, they could call me Dancing Man. Hey, Dancing Man. They knew I would turn around because I heard that expression, right? So it was a nickname. So then after I had the bike accident and then I had to wear boots, now they would say, hey, boots. And then I would start going into, you know where I got these? Oh, where'd you get those? Uh, I just got back from the moon six months ago and I saw them on sale for a hundred pieces of cheese. It was all Swiss cheese. They, they use cheese like we use money. I go into this whole routine and they go, oh. and, and so moon boots came about. So now they call me moon boots. Lighting has a lot to do with my personality. Where I used to live up north, a lot of clouds like this. My moods, my, my personality was just controlled by the amount of sunlight my eyes would take in. My draw to Florida was to get away from the cloudiness, the rainy days, the intimate, uh, the percentage of sunlight that I was able to take in. Flora was where I always wanted to go. So now that I'm down in Florida, with more sunlight, yeah, it rains every day, but it's only for a while. My body gets over that, not a problem. Most of my life I spent as being an automobile mechanic. Worked for all the three major dealers, Chevy, Ford, Chrysler. So well, after I retired, I kind of got tired of that. I said, I gotta try something new. My health is going downhill. Um, I have injury problems and, and everything is just going down. And then I finally got interested in health and food and uh, having getting rid of my emotional problems that I've carried through all my life. And so I shredded my driver's license, took my registration plate, ripped it up, threw it in a dumpster, went out to Walmart, bought an $88 bicycle, and been riding ever since. All kinds of different bikes. Uh, the bike I have now um, is the best of all of them. I only paid $200 for it. It was used. Some old lady on the boardwalk owned it. Must have left it outside because the handlebars are kind of rusty a little bit. But other than that, every day it takes me where I want to go. Very reasonable, no cost, no insurance, no registrations, no no headaches. Uh, ride the ride the roads when there's cars uh, not close enough to hurt me. If they're gonna get too close or too fast, then I get on the sidewalk and ride. So, my bike is my baby. It's with me all the time, 24-7. It's never hardly out of my sight. And I value it very highly. At least two hours here, at least three hours there. That's at least five hours every night. I used to go from seven o'clock on a Wednesday two-hour bands here, crowds everywhere, jam-packed. This whole square was jam-packed. Sometimes there's probably maybe a thousand people here just listening to the band, right? They'd sit up there in the restaurant, they're sitting over there on the imitation lawn over there, their kids are playing, blah, 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 out around in the back. 
And then when the band stopped here, I'd go over there. I'd be dancing over there because he, he'd put a speaker outside the door and the music would continue on until it started up uh, over there at 10 o'clock. So I'd be there for another hour. And then by 10 o'clock, I would head over and catch the band inside downstairs in, in the uh, restaurant. And uh, I would continue there from 10 to about 12, 1 o'clock, depending on the night. And then on Saturdays, I'd leave there at 1, get on my bike and ride all the way over to, uh, uh, on, on Sheridan Street, there was an 80s disco club. And I'd walk in there and stay there to 3 o'clock. So I was dancing non-stop aerobics, except for drinking water or talking a little bit. Um, uh, just moving, moving fast, listening to the beat. Uh, my, my body was so, it was, it was like a marathon. Uh, if you can imagine running from 7 o'clock in the evening to 3 o'clock in the morning, imagine yourself running. If you can do that, then you can keep up with me. Non-stop to three o'clock in the morning. People come and they go. They're all pooped out. How does this guy do it? Somebody told the guy. He says, "You better tell that guy to sit down. He's going to have a heart attack." And the guy that works there, he says, he "says I've been watching him do this for months, and he says he never tires out. Don't worry about him." <laughs> So this is my life. This is what gets me out of bed. This is what <sighs> returns the love by getting me to where I want to go. It became uh, a, uh, a challenge. How far can I go with these boots? Because I found I had to wear them every day. If I didn't wear them, my ankle would swell up like a grapefruit. So, um, uh, I, I reinvented a way to walk and, and move around and live with these boots that everybody said the kids would look, would look at me and follow me. Hey, mommy, look it, you know. I'm getting a lot of attention because I'm different, you know. Drawing attention to yourself and, ooh, oh, that must hurt. I, I feel sorry for you. How long do you got to wear them? I says, I don't know. I might be wearing them forever. And they go, oh, you know. And so I did. I wore them for about three years. And um, I finally one day decided that this is it. You know, I, I can't be dependent on these anymore. I'm going to go on a bicycle trip and I'm going up to the Canadian border. I can't have these boots having to take them off and put them on every day and, and, and everything that goes with it. It's, it's like a two hour event two three hour event just to get the boots on just so i can go out and, and walk around so uh the beginning of this year uh kind of like had a new year's resolution that i'm not going to wear the boots again so i finally got to the point after three years now to uh live without the boots but living with the boots was a very special uh period of time in my life where i really got to escape from my shell that I used to live in all my life. And um, the boots really helped me to do that because people would take notice of me.